Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. We are having a bit of a cloudy day today, so I need this light right here. I know. I need this light right here. I don't think it's supposed to rain, but it is looking a little funky outside. All right, so my desk is a total wreck, and I am perfectly happy with it looking this way because I am in the midst of working on a project that I saw on Le Cafe Craft, and her name is Patricia. I got that from watching almost all her videos between yesterday and today. Um, she made large master, large master boards, and she decided that that was not for her, that they were too cumbersome, and she just couldn't make them work for her. So she decided to take book pages and make master boards on book pages. I just so happen to have a bunch of pages that I pulled out of a book, I don't know how long ago, but they've been sitting around and I figured, ha, ah, this is the time to use them. So yesterday I spent all day working on master boards that fit on that. Let me go get them. I had put them away and I forgot. All right, so here is what I did yesterday. I took the magazine, I mean magazine, the book pages, and I took all my brown and beige scraps and, and other kinds of things like, this is a, actually, this is a sticker that I got from a friend who gave me all her stickers like this, and I decided that instead of me drawing on there or trying to find netting or something, I would just put the sticker on there works great. I love it. Found words from um, paper like this that I cut some words off of. This is a Tim Holtz paper. I love this paper. Um, so there's that. And then scrapbook paper, book text. I have a stamp that makes lines. This stamp. And then this one makes this. So I'm using that. All right, so I spent all day yesterday making all of these little master boards. And they're very bland, and that's, they were intended to be this way. There's a tag. There's lined scrapbook paper that I cut into smaller pieces and then took brown paper uh, that was, a, I think it was... I don't know if it was a jelly print or what it was, but it was painted brown, and I just cut it in little strips and pretended like it was washi tape. Why well, use the real stuff when I can pretend? <laughs> These are just all kinds of painty papers and scrapbook paper, and uh, this one is embossed, stamped embossed. And I just took what I had, and I glued them onto the book pages. Some are more busy than others, but that's okay. It, it gives it a variety. All right, so I took all those and then I scan them all. And what her suggestion was is to copy them, scan them, and then I ran off copies. Now I took I took two of the master boards. Oh, it just so happens it's this one right here. Oh, that's funny. This one and this one. And I laid them on the copier and scanned them side by side like that so that they cut, they um, take up a whole eight and a half by 11 sheet. And yes, it's white on the back. If you want to do this, you could use coffee dyed paper and then do them on that. But I, I wanted the white on here, so I did not do mine that way. And yes, you have the little white paper stripe around here. That doesn't bother me. Some people don't like it, but I really don't care. Um, so I did all of them like that. And then you take, and here's, here's two more from the pile I showed you. Then you take them and you can glue them together or you can photocopy two-sided photocopies. 
I don't have such good luck with the two-sided thing, so I'm going to glue these together. And that is four pages in a journal. So these are all like that. These are the ones I showed you, the singles. I took them and I ran them off on the scanner and then printed them out. I had I had such a blast doing this. So I had have enough to do one, two, three, and I'm working on wait, three. Here is number four signature. I put the two boards in there so I could remember that's the back side. So here's the front two pages. And then these two I worked on finishing up overnight. I left them underneath my laptop so they'd flatten out a little bit better. And these two will be the back side to this after I photocopy them. So that will give me four pages for one signature. And then I'm going to work. I usually like to do three to five signatures in my books. So this will be one signature. And then I thought, oh my God, it's going to take me, it'll take me another two days to get enough of this to create two more signatures of four, right? I thought, I'm crazy. This is nuts. And then I remembered that last year I took my scraps and made all these little things here. I did them all according to colors. There's no mixing and matching. These are my greens. This is all leftover paper from different projects. That part was green. There's like some purpley and green. I love this one. Jelly paper, jelly printed paper. Not a lot of commercial type papers in here. Um, this is one of those sewed ribbons out of a strip of paper. This is a stamp I carved. There are some magazine and some stamped images in here. So anyway, I have this book. I have this book that's all lavenders and purples and kind of blues and teals and then this section of the book is all red papers because I used up all my scraps and then you know I separated them according to color so when I'm looking for a specific color all I have to do is go through these books and then there'll be a section of pink a section of red so this one is purple red and pink this one is teal teal blues and blues and greens this one is a little larger than the others and I put measurements on here so I can remember. These are six by eights. These are not going to fit on the printer unless, you know, it cuts off some of the edges of these. These are all one sheet jelly prints that I really liked. And I couldn't part with the paper. So I put them into a book. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan all this. And then I'm going to print them off onto my off my printer. And I do not have to reinvent the wheel every time I want to make a journal. I can just use my scan pages, which saves a ton of time. All right, so then I started thinking, oh wait, here's orange. I have orange and yellow. These are kind of loud and crazy, aren't they? Woo! All right, so that's that. And then I remembered that on the back side of the orange papers, I forgot that I had brown. So here are the brown ones. Now I don't want to spend two days dragging out all this stuff again to um, to glue and once I clean this up I'm done with this. So I have to figure out to get it all finished today and have enough pages that I can make two more sets of four signatures. So I remembered I had all these but there's holes poked in them and they're front and back. Same type stuff as the other thing, but I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine of these, which is really nine times two is 18. And I can get more signatures out of these. So I don't, when I photocopy them, I don't want the holes to show. So here's one from the, um, this, I took my washi tape. I have, I don't have a lot of brown washi tape, but I have two rolls of brown washi tape. One has kind of very small writing on it, and the other one also has very small writing. I don't know what they say, and I don't really care. So what I did was I took the washi tape and put some on this side and some on this side to cover up the holes. And then I took a, um, oh, I put it back or upside down. Well, fooey. I took some washi tape, put it on here like this for just a generic tag. When I photocopy it, this will be on the page. Then I can take this off and use it somewhere else. And I still have the tag, but I also have a photocopy of the paper with, and then I'll do one without the tag. So that when I make my journal, I can glue a tag on the journal that I photocopied the paper for. It's background paper, basically. Um, and then I can gussy it up any way I want. So I've been taping down the sides of the fronts and the backs of these so that um, you don't see the holes. But And it'll be great because these are the same, almost the same size paper and these are a little smaller than these, a little smaller. And you're going to sew, I'm going to sew this anyway. So it doesn't matter that there's washi tape, you know, plugging up the holes. It just adds more interest to the page. So the ones that have dark, like, uh, where's the one I had that had dark on it? There's one of these, oh, no, there's one of these that has dark down the side. And I decided that I would use the darker washi tape on the side. This one's kind of messed up because I poked holes in the wrong side and panicked because um, it didn't poke the holes properly in here. This one has darker, and so I might use this on those, and I'll alternate the different ones. But I like the way this idea is going. I hate that they're a little bit smaller, but it's okay. I think that it will be a wonderful idea nevertheless that I don't have to reinvent the wheel every time I want background paint. Sorry guys, it's really a very cloudy day. It's like the fourth day in a row. It's very cloudy. It's nine o'clock in the morning and there's no sun. <laughs> so I had my light, you know. All right, so um, since watching La Cafe Craft with, I think her name's Patricia, uh, I have been working on master boards, on mini master boards, and finally finished all of them enough to do three signatures for a, um, a book, a journal. So here is what I ended up with. And now they're not perfect, but I'm still grappling with some of the issues. The, these are the original ones I started with that had that I made a long time ago that had the holes punched in the side. So I did put the washi down and I photocopied everything. Then I glued four of them, you know, two pages together. That was a real trick. Then um, I ended up with three signatures in here instead of four. For some reason, I took the fourth one out. I inked the edges because when I glued them together, I had white where it they weren't. They didn't go to well. See, you can see the, I'm sorry, I've been inking. <laughs> you can see the gap here. So I inked them so you really, I don't know. I tried cutting them smaller, but if I keep doing that, I'm going to end up with like, you know, a matchbook. So I quit. These are the larger ones I did with the larger book pages. And it's the same issue is that when you glue two pieces together, they don't always go together well. And this one I chopped off because I said, all right, that's it. I've had it with the white. And so it is way smaller <laughs> than the other ones. All right. So 
that's the second one. The third one, still the same exact issue is they didn't line up very well. This is a tag I glued onto it. And when I photocopied it, it just looks so cool. All right. And I got some stuff upside down in the other book. Like this one is upside down on another page in there. It's a duplicate, but it's upside down. And all of this paper, scrap paper that I had in my stash in different places, but I did have lots of scrap paper and some washi tape, painty papers. See, this one's upside down. All this writing's upside down. It should, you should pay attention to what Patricia says. Check it before you do it. I did not. Luckily, that's the only one that's upside down. <laughs> and there you go. So there are my master boards. I have a lot of these. There's four master boards per page in here. All right, I didn't want to start a project and not show you how it finished off. So tonight, while watching something on Netflix that was a little weird, um, I worked on sewing all my signatures together. So here is the front. There's the back. All the ones that I had upside down, I cut in half and I glued one side or the other on here. And... Um, this is really good chipboard that a friend sent to me that I love, love, love. So I did the Coptic stitch, except for I missed going, it went under the paper. And here's the shortest of the three signatures in the book. I need to cut this off. Let me do this right now. I don't like that hanging out there like that. I only pulled it out three times to get it in right and then still have the one that didn't go under the paper. <laughs> There's some edges that I need to glue together that are coming apart from me tugging and pulling on it so many times. So the next part is to work on the book, to put things in it. So this is all my background paper, and then I'm done doing this. And any time I want background papers for something, all I have to do is print them off on my print printer, and from my um, folder on my printer that says Masterboards. And I have an instant picture, and I don't have to reinvent the wheel, and I'm so excited. Um, I scanned all of the other ones that I showed, this, the ones that I had made last year. Scanned all those, have them in category. So anytime I need a sheet, all I have to do is print it off. And I'm not going to do all my stuff like this, but I just love that it was super duper simple. This is the one that I cut real short. I got kind of crazy and cut it short. And this is a little loose there. But overall, I'm very happy with the way it turned out. I did glue this. I've glued this in since I photocopied this. And this is the front cover. There you go. So there's my Coptic book of master boards that are now pages in a book. Going to be a journal of some sort. And there's three signatures in here. And it's all done. So there you go. A project done. Yay! <laughs> now I actually have to put stuff in it. All right. See me in a year. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Bye.